it's over. It's over. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe MMA195, and today we'll be taking a look at some more of the craziest moments on The Ultimate Fighter. George St. Pierre brings in a drunk Muay Thai coach. Apparently, John Charles, before practice, he like gets wasted, like he just drinks a ton of alcohol. Midway through season 12 of The Ultimate Fighter, George St. Pierre would bring in legendary Muay Thai coach Jean Charles Skarbowski. But before Jean Charles would arrive, Saint Pierre would warn his fighters that Jean Charles would probably be drunk upon arrival and that he was not one to be messed with. He's like, he's not, he's a different human being. He's a free thinker, you know? If you spar with him, you respect him, he's gonna respect you. If I've seen some guy try to prove a point with him, he's gonna, he's gonna knock you out cold. He's a, he's a character, okay? So I want you to be, be uh, please be, be careful. Uh. Upon his arrival, Jean Charles would proceed to effortlessly manhandle all of the fighters in sparring, despite being absolutely wasted. Sparring with Jean Charles is awesome, but at the same time, it sucks. <laughs> Uriah Hall's Frightening Knockouts. Throughout season 17 of The Ultimate Fighter, Uriah Hall would prove to be one of the scariest fighters to ever compete on the show, as he repeatedly finished each and every one of his opponents in extremely devastating fashion. Stop! Move. All right, I'm gonna roll to your side. Something's wrong with my eye. Yeah, we're gonna work on it right now, brother. No, I mean like inside. But none more devastating than his match against Adam Sella. In only the first round, Hall would land a perfectly timed spinning hook kick that knocked Sella out cold and sent him crashing to the canvas. More, come on, more. more. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Matt Riddle versus Dan Simler. On The Ultimate Fighter Season 7, Dana White revealed that the fighters would have to fight their way onto the show this time around. Next 48 hours are gonna be the most important 48 hours of your entire life. Because this season, you're gonna fight your way onto the show. Matt Riddle would be matched up against Dan Simler in a fight that ended with one of the scariest knockouts in the show's history. Up, red, to up, red, buddy. Up. Yeah, it's over! Relax. Oh. Relax, Dan. Oh. 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 You're doing good? Just relax. Oh. Alex Caceres versus Sevak Magakian. Things don't go his way. He takes it super personal, like everybody insults him. You're the, the wrong person, God. I'm not f***ing with nobody. I'm telling you, you're f***ing the wrong guy. I'm not f***ing <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Don't throw it away. If you want it, we do it in the cage, not here. Okay? I'll do it. I don't give a f***. <laughs> if you're throwing it away, I'll lay down and take it. I don't give a f <laughs> Early on season 12 of The Ultimate Fighter, Alex Caceres would start a heated argument with the other contestants as he confronted them for talking behind his back. Oh, but all because I get into it, man, and get into a fight, man, that's what I'm saying. Get into it, too bad, dude. Get into it, sir. Ain't like I was disrespecting Aaron, dude. What's what some douchebags on the street say? But things would quickly go from zero to 100 as Sevak Magakian lost his temper and nearly came to blows with Caceres. Man, this disrespect me every day, but the minute I say so, a word to this motherfucker. Get that The Ronda Rousey versus Misha Tate rivalry. Ronda Rousey isn't some let's play pranks on each other and let's have fun and she's not that chick. On season 18 of The Ultimate Fighter, Ronda Rousey had originally been scheduled to coach against Kat Zinganu, but due to an injury that Zinganu sustained, there was a last-minute change of plans. 
Misha Tate would be selected to replace Zinganu, and this came as a shock to Rousey as she wasn't told about this last-minute change until she came face-to-face -face with Tate on the show. Are you with Helping Cats team out? I think I'll leave the explaining to Dana. Are you serious? I'm serious. Uh, where is he at? Rousey and Tate happened to be rivals and still had a bit of bad blood from their previous fight in Strike Force. Throughout this season of The Ultimate Fighter, Rousey and Tate's rivalry would become more heated than ever as they got into quite a few heated arguments, and their teams even nearly came to blows at one point. Okay, I'll call you. Okay. We'll sure? We'll we'll sure? Sure? We'll sure? We can go right, go right in there. We can go right now. Uh, right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? Do it at the right time. Do it at the right time. Later in the show, Rousey and Tate would compete in the coaches challenge, where they would have a rock climbing race. Rousey would emerge victorious in this race and didn't hesitate to immediately taunt Tate after winning. All the way down. You're gonna get in December too, honey. Get used to it. Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. <laughs> On the latest season of The Ultimate Fighter, Conor McGregor would make his long-awaited return after recovering from a brutal leg injury. He would coach against Michael Chandler in a season of MMA prospects versus UFC veterans. Throughout the show, McGregor's team of prospects would lose nearly every single quarterfinal matchup, and after going 0-6, McGregor would get extremely frustrated as he had a very heated confrontation with Chandler that quickly turned physical. Not against me and not Michael, yeah? Some of these kids are in the UFC before you're in the UFC. So don't be start trying That's to say, fine. yeah, this and that. As and long yeah. as you show up for them, maybe if you show up show for them, break your nose, here. you little fool, you. Come on, dude. Yeah, what, what, little Bella Thor, take yeah. your little take yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh, are we gonna do this? We gonna fight right now? Oh, oh, oh. Get out of my way. Gino. Conor McGregor's epic comeback victory. After going 0-6 in the quarterfinal matchups, it looked like Team Chandler was already on their way to defeating Team McGregor in the first clean sweep in Ultimate Fighter history. But things wouldn't go as expected when Rico DiCiulo of Team McGregor got an unexpected knockout victory after an epic back-and-forth fight with Hunter Azure. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more MMA content. Uh, <laughs> this guy looks like a orange cotton candy. Uh, you look like a 50-year-old retired skateboarder. <laughs>